I'm needing is some two and a half inch wide pieces. So I trim that just over two and a half. Now I'm gonna flip it and cut it exactly on two and a half. And another two and a half. Uh, pieces cut it's five degree angle here and here and that's about nine inches across that's the top and that's what i wanted to mount to the table and i wanted to display down our end between 12 and 14 inches five degrees this would be round and we would have about 12 and a half inches so that's gonna work out for me so that's basically gonna be one of the legs so the two of those that's gonna put the tabletop about 22 inches once the tabletop's on top there which is right at the chair arm height and then okay here's the mock-up of the leg that i think i'm gonna go with this one's just all taped together so i think that's the size, the shape. So again, that bottom shelf will go on, sit on there. It's probably going to be just like the top. I'm probably going to use this odd shape piece here as the bottom shelf. And that's the top. And so I'm going to go ahead and mock up the second one of these. It's kind of happy, but I still might do some kind of a taper. Uh, either a cut a taper on it to get the fact it's tapering, or maybe even cut it out of angle up here. So this each one tapers out five degrees. So we'll see. So let's get another one made mock up get the uh, top of it. Okay, I mocked up the second leg, uh, pair of legs, and determined I do need an angle on the sides. The uh, angle uh, in the shape. the legs. I'm going to the bottom of the series. Uh, so there's the other set of legs. So basically what I'm doing is on the inside between the two legs, angling this to be narrower down by the foot, an inch narrower down by the foot on that piece looking from the side. Okay, let's attach this angle guy to this board here. Here. Think about this for a minute here. Okay, I also uh, stop down here either from sliding back and then I'll just get on this side and I'll just put it on any side. I just have to take here also pull that end over. So um, it should be good. So here's that first one taped together. Uh, it's just taped right on it. Now obviously I have to cut the uh, cross brace on the bottom there. Uh, cut it down and add a five degree angle so it fits right in here. But that's going to be a look I'm looking for. I'm pretty sure. So I'm getting ready to cut the other two right now. Now I'm cutting that lower brace uh, narrower and with that five degree angle on it. Okay. That is pretty dang good. Pretty good, pretty good. Now, that one and... I want to put the camera box and so let's put the top on it and see what kind of difference that made. Okay, I think I nailed it. There's those legs with the angles on them on the inner side and, uh, whoa, just what I was looking for. That's the look I wanted. So now, i got to put that cross piece in across there, right in the middle, about a one inch wide piece. I'll half lap in. Might do the same thing up at the, where am I? Up at the top, up underneath, just for a little extra strength. My tape's all falling apart. <laughs> and uh, so once I get that done, then I can uh, sand and figure out how I'm going to attach all these pieces, probably with dowels, I'm thinking. Okay, I've got the two lower supports here taped together. I've got to cut a half lap in them to insert this uh, cross brace between the two legs. So I've got to cut halfway in that, halfway in this, and it'll go bottom of the shelf, go up in the cross piece. So cut those half laps. I'm putting on my square tooth blade. This blade is Okay, I'm cutting that uh, dado in these two bottom shells. I already got it partially cut. Two fingers. Okay, I got it up. Whoa! Camera. I assembled it upside down, got it all laid out where I wanted it on that top, and measured my width between the two legs for my brace, cut it to length, and then marked the depth and length of those uh, half laps. Cut one, it worked out, so now we're going to swing over here to the table saw and cut the other end. So you can see, I've got it Okay, let's check it out. Oh, a bit too rough. Beautiful. Ends are good. 
Flush. Woo! Now those are gonna be screwed to this top. I'll be two screws there, two screws there. Um, I don't see any benefit having that stretcher in the center there on the top. Uh, that should hold them pretty solid. This is gonna hold the bottom leg solid. Plus, we got the jump one here that's gonna get fattened in here. That's important. So, okay, I just sanded uh, all the uh, base pieces. I sanded all the pieces for the one. Um, did uh, 60, then uh, 120. I'm gonna do the same on this other one. Then I'll probably just do the inside edges, what I won't be able to get to with 220. Then I'll put it all together and then do the whole the rest of it with 220. <laughs> Well, I got the first set of legs drilled with the uh, pig just holding it. Uh, it wasn't easy. I didn't feel like I didn't know how I was going to do it with those angles. That was not easy. It came out great, but, uh, man, I think I'll glue this one up before I do the next one. See if it gives me problems to change how I do the next one. And I'll try to film as much of that as possible. But it was a real helter skelter way. I don't know. I'm sure there's a better way, but I'll have to figure it out. Well, there's the glue up. Uh, glad I didn't film it. Hopefully, I, I haven't learned anything on how to drill it, peg it, and glue it up. I'll try to film the next one. But boy, it was pure hell, and it didn't come out as good as I wanted it to. But. I think it'll be good enough, and hopefully this one comes out better. Okay, here's the first one with the uh, pegs trimmed off and sanded up to 120. So, uh, it's not coming out too bad. I still have to figure out a better way to glue this whole thing up. So, uh, see what I come up with on the next one. <clears throat> well, this time I'm gluing first, and then I'm gonna put the pegs in after. Okay, so up, up, and then Good. Good. Okay, let's cut these pegs, plus trim these pegs on this side, so we can do the other side. Okay, I've got mark two here, one there. Just uh, got a little hole punch to start it. Just kind of lining it up by eye, making sure I don't run crooked from out the side in there. Oh, that left the <laughs> okay, trim this other side off and one twenty. Well, uh, I marked and drilled uh, or countersunk on this first leg, so my head and my screws will set in a little bit so I've got this one marked so I drilled this probably something I should have done uh, before it was put together but okay I'm just kind of looking at it sizing up the location of the top I actually turned it I was putting it the other way I think I'm gonna go this way okay I got the top just up with uh, screws inside hold it now Get this stretcher lined up. This end is going to go glue right in. I don't know if I'm it or not. This end needs to trim it. It's not far off. So I think I will get that stretcher glued up on this end there and let it set good. And then trim this end and sand it and then put it back over and glue and screw it down to the top. Okay, once that stretcher sits up good and dry, I'll uh, flush cut this end where it overhung a little bit and then we'll drill it and run it out right through that joint. And that's going to be all covered up by the bottom shelf anyway, which I still have got the sand right there. I'm going to have to make a template because i got to cut a little bit around the legs to fit it in there. Now, no. oh. Okay, I put some glue under here and I'm screwing the legs to the top. Last thing that needs sanding. Next up, finishing. Okay, last look at it. Natural. I'm gonna flip it upside down and wipe it down with some mineral spirits and start putting some uh, armor seal on it. Like general finishes. Awesome. 
Go two down on the uh, legs and the bottom of the top. After some 220 sanding, so after this dries, I'll give it some 320 and at least a third coat on the legs. I don't know if the bottom there is going to need any more, but certainly give a third coat to the legs. Go three down on the legs and the uh, bottom of the top, which I think should be the last, so when that dries, we'll sand it up, take a look at it. And here is what I'm hoping is going to end up being the bottom shell, so I got it sanded up through 220. Okay, there's the uh, white down with no spirits. Looking pretty good. Yep. So I'm going to have to make a little pattern, probably cut a couple of notches out of this, but go into that bottom shell. So that'll be next for this bottom shell. I'm going to go ahead and fit it, see how it looks before I put the fish on it. Okay, there's uh, the table with the three coats on the legs, which I think is going to be good. Um, so now, I'm going to be doing two things. I'm going to be sanding the top of the final coat of sand with 220. And this will be just kind of heavy paper here to cut pattern. Okay, I cut the template around the legs and got it positioned where I wanted it on this bottom shelf. Laid it on here and got it uh, lengthwise where I wanted it. And the only part I had to notch, end up notching out was right here, just a little bit right here. And I drew a curve. I'm going to put that curve in and this curve on this end. And let's go put this in here. I'm going to hold the camera in this. So I'm thinking is, this is going to go in about like that. Like that. So now we can mount this one screw here, two down there. I'm going to cut this curve on it, but maybe not quite that much of a curve. I'm going to follow this top up here. In the back, I've got a slight curve I'm going to cut on it to match this up here. So, okay, there's that curve cut on the bandsaw. Obviously, it's not sanded yet, and I'm going to put the same we like green bevel on it. I like the looks of that, how far it extends out. And so now I want to change this end a little bit. So, I have a pencil here. I think this one uh, just, it's actually it's short enough. It needs to come about right here. And let me put the camera down and draw. Okay, now if you can see it, I'm going to cut it. This curve here, not this one, a little shorter. Not the same curve, but it's just a little shorter. Yep, I'm gonna go with that. Okay, I like it. That's about good, right? About there. So now I sand those rounds that I just cut, sand those on the belt sander, and then route that brake on in there at big 45. Okay, changing out the router table to this uh, 45 degree so we can put the same angle on this lower shelf here on the ends. Okay. okay, there's the top sanded with 220. I use this 220 on a board to keep it flat and uh, wipe it down with some middle spirit. So it look pretty good. So I think we are ready to get finish on that thing and the bottom shelf too the bottom shelf okay just started with coat one on the top here okay uh, there's coat number two on the top of the top and the top of the bottom shelf wherever. Okay, here we go with coat number three. Okay, I just put the last coat, which I think was five. And before that, I actually sanded with some 600. And there is the shelf. And there is the top. Okay, finally got all the finishing done on this thing. And I uh, <clears throat> have this bottom shelf positioned where I want it. Uh, I got the clamps taped here, and I'm going to clamp it to the below, so I can flip it over, and uh, get it mounted. Oh. Alright, there it is, upside down, the clamps have held it in position, so, punch a hole where I want this, get the screws. There's the bottom shelf, mounted in there. <laughs> nice and solid. Uh, looking pretty good, I think. I'm happy. Man, this pops are slick like glass. Man, a lot. One of that 600 grit. Did the trick. Here, here, here.